What's going guys, Zenos here and today I'm bringing this video to you guys on the insights on the Elena Summer banner. So should you be pulling on this uh, banner or not? Okay, so it's pretty much a little bit conditional thing. Uh, the main question lies on like, are you really in need of a really amazing support unit or not? Or are you really looking forward for a really good healer? then this summon banner is really not for you if you are actually looking for a healer because i mean like yes she is a soul weaver but thing is that like when it comes to healing department she actually falls back but when it comes to support she is pretty amazing especially when you are talking about the debuffs okay so she is very 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 amazing on that department so let's try to discuss like what are the sort of like advantages when we are really trying to uh, try to pull her up okay so she has obviously team invincibility for one turn and two turn increased effect resistance all thanks to her ultimate skill or let's say the third skill known as the eternal shining comet okay that actually allows you to have a very good standing on the pvp battles your pvp battles will be really amazing all right and the thing is that like her first skill is just too good it provides a constant allied dispel debuff when attacking okay it is just too good guys okay i mean like whenever she is using a basic skill basically she is removing debuffs from the allies and guess what guys if you actually consume 20 souls for this like faster skill she dispels all debuff from all allies that is a very very strong debuff i'm like cleanser guys a debuff cleansing skill guys this is just too strong okay pretty much unique to this uh character and which i think it can actually be used as a very good counter against uh you know like debuffers like let's say dz uh ball and Cezanne, uh moonlight ball and Cezanne, moonlight araminta this, this can actually be really really great guys i'm like this will really help you to stand your ground against those kind of debuffers okay so that's pretty amazing to have around and thing is that like she has aoe a damage reduction okay so uh c reduces the aoe damage uh, damage received from the opponent by up to 15 percent so that is pretty good guys really allowing the team to survive more that's pretty good especially for pvp uh battles when your opponent is sort of like uh uh you know cleaver that can actually be a very big problem okay and in those kind of cases like there are so many good cleavers like let's say Ludwig, uh, Vildred, Arbiter Vildred, okay, those are the sort of like uh, opponents that we really don't want to face and things like on that certain case of scenario I'm mean, like if you have this particular unit you are gonna be on a uh, advantageous side, okay, that is really good. The thing is that like uh, because of her like healing skill, uh, you know like mechanics this is so bad guys the healing skill is just too bad uh, you cannot uh, use your healing skill right away at the moment when you need it okay I mean like you have to wait for turns guys you have to wait for turns okay so that is actually the thing that is going on the healing and sort of like it can actually be advantage as well because it's sort of like a passive skill so you know, like if you are using it as an active skill obviously there will be a certain sort of like cooldown especially in most of the case scenario you have to wait for about like three to at least four turns okay but in this like every two turns you are receiving healing so you can use it i mean like you can view it in the advantageous side as well it's really up to you guys but definitely it's not a very powerful healing because like you really don't have a direct command over it okay so uh there you go guys i mean like if you are actually looking forward for a very great support unit she is really really amazing really really amazing she will really uh you know like stand up uh to her uh to your expectations guys i mean like she will really stand up to your expectations when it comes to support department but up to the healing i mean like if you are really looking for a forward for a really great healer like she is not really that good healer guys that is what we say uh the next best thing about her is that this uh she is a, she's a ice element type hero okay which is a current meta i mean like ice elements are the one that is actually ruling the pvp battles and they're having you know like the best uh combination of units that are actually dealing a lot of damage supports healers stuff like that guys so many things going on right out there 
and the next thing that we are actually gonna say is that like is this artifact really 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 that good 30% chance to dispel one debuff from an ally when tanked so if you are really trying to make this unit Elena a very aggressive debuffer then yes this artifact can actually prove to be a really amazing thing because like whenever she attacks right she will uh, dispel the debuff from the allies or from the team and if she is being attacked again I'm like if she is being attacked and also at the same time she is gonna do the same thing again so you know, like she actually starts to become a very aggressive debuffer so under certain con circumstances where you are really trying to make your team very 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 healthy uh, of debuffs then this can actually be proved to be really amazing but in general case of scenario i think this is really really not that uh outsourced sort of like artifact anyways guys it's really up to you on how you really want to use it or let's say how badly you need it okay so it's really up to you guys but in general case of scenario i would probably rate this you know artifact about like let's say seven over ten guys okay so this is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button keep on to keep on enjoying the contents of my channel and see you guys in the next video